In line with the goals of the Kingdom's Vision 2030, a sports boulevard will be built as one of the largest projects in the history of Saudi Arabia in Riyadh. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look at the upcoming biggest sports boulevard of the world. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia announces its biggest sports boulevard of the world in 2030, which will be built in the green area of the capital Riyadh. Together with its general contractor Al Salam Engineering Group, Riyadh hosted a press briefing to launch this project that aims to place Riyadh as one of the best livable cities in the world and to contribute to achieving one of the most prominent goals of the Kingdom's Vision 2030. To consolidate the capital status as the sports capital of Saudi Arabia and to keep pace with the Kingdom's Vision 2030, Riyadh Governor Prince Faisal bin Bandar has unveiled the biggest sports boulevard in the world. The Sports Boulevard project will be the longest longitudinal boulevard in the world with a distance of more than 135 kilometers, running from Wadi Hanifa in the west to the city of Wadi Al Suleh in the east. The Sports Boulevard is scheduled to be completed in 2030 by custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman. It will include seven football stadiums and a sports complex, as well as 30 other sports facilities that can be used by both men and women. Sports Boulevard will be the world's largest highway and will be connected to the King Solomon Highway, which connects Riyadh with Jeddah. The project consists of six multi-level bridges equipped with elevators for people with disabilities. The massive Sports Boulevard project aims to place Riyadh as one of the best livable cities in the world and contribute to achieving one of the most prominent goals of Vision 2030. This is through promoting physical, psychological, and social health and building a society whose members enjoy decent lives and healthy lifestyles. Along with numerous athletic venues, the boulevard would provide safe lanes for horses, bicycles, and pedestrians. There will be more than 2.3 million square meters of investment sites spread throughout more than 4.4 million square meters of open green space, 50 locations for different sports, and notable aesthetic landmarks. The architectural vocabulary for the city of Riyadh will procure the style of the capital with its own characteristics and will be distinguished by the vitality and flexibility. It facilitates the architects and planners to innovate freely within the confines of tradition. Moreover, it does not include literal copying of old urban vocabulary that imposes limited elements and items but rather leaves the freedom for an architect or planner to launch new innovative elements based on principles drawn from past experiences, as well as innovative expressions of current needs that simulate past experience. The code's goal is to create a sustainable urban environment that improves quality of life by raising the standards for architectural designs, urban planning laws, building systems, land use, parking regulations, sign regulations, and environmental controls in a way that harmonizes the urban fabric and encourages investment in real estate development. The Sports Boulevard will offer an attractive, safe, and complementary environment to the city in general. The importance of launching the Urban Design Code will constitute a regulation that provides standards for engineering design and a reference guide for all current and potential commercial and residential real estate owners, as well as real estate investors and developers, in a way that contributes to providing urban patterns in harmony with the Sports Boulevard's various tracks for pedestrians, bicycles, and horses to form a modern and sustainable environment for residences and visitors to the capital city of Riyadh. The ambitious urban project of Sports Boulevard 2030 is a great step towards the development of services and facilities in Riyadh, which aims to be accomplished by 2030 through various fields and building companies from around the world, which contribute to its infrastructure and design. Do you think this will be a revolution? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.